This health organization has become nothing more than a corrupt globalist scam paid for by the United States but owned and controlled by China. When the China virus reached our shores three years ago, the World Health Organization disgracefully covered the tracks of the Chinese Communist Party every single step of the way. For this reason, it was my great honor to terminate America's relationship with the World Health Organization. The United States was paying the World Health Organization almost $500 million a year. When I dropped out, I took it out of there. And for 330 million people, even though China was paying only $40 million for 1.4 billion people. So we had 330, they have 1.4, and we're paying more than 10 times the amount. That's typical for the United States because they don't know what the hell they're doing. Unfortunately, crooked Joe Biden foolishly re-entered the World Health Organization at the full price and without any negotiations or reforms. And now Biden is pushing to bypass the United States Senate to enter a pandemic treaty that would surrender American sovereignty to the World Health Organization, again, controlled by China. The draft treaty would require the United States to send vast quantities of medical supplies to other countries in the event of another pandemic, and it would push aggressive censorship of free speech on issues of public health, just like they censored the truth about the Wuhan lab, which I said that's where it came from, remember. Under the next Trump administration, that treaty will be immediately terminated. I would not allow public health to be used as a pretext to advance the march of Global government, that's what they're doing, globalists. The United States will withdraw from the corrupt World Health Organization, which, in light of its utter failure on COVID, they had a tremendous disaster on COVID, deserves to be completely abolished and replaced. Then I will work to forge a new coalition of nations that are strongly committed to protecting health, while also upholding sovereignty and freedom. I want to thank you very much, but I also want to say this. I could have renegotiated the deal. I could have gone into the World Health Organization for $25 million. Biden didn't take that deal. He's paying almost $500 million. They were so anxious to get the United States back after I terminated the agreement. They were so anxious to get it back that they offered me a deal, 25 to $30 million. And I said, no, I'll wait. Could have gotten it for less, but I didn't want less at that point. We were paying almost 500 million. Could have done it for 25 to 30. Biden took the 500, almost the $500 million deal. He knew he could have gotten back in for less. So why did he pay so much? But that's just one of many things that are wrong with our country. Thank you very much.